Hey guys, a quick little reminder on breast cancer and uh, prostate cancer. Um, there are a lot of tools that a person can use, and this is just, you know, obviously not exhaustive, but I just want to discuss the couple of main uh, nutrients, and today's main nutrient being selenium. As a lot of you guys know and have been followed over the years, selenium methionine <clears throat> is a very powerful tool that uh, uh, Dr. Gerhard Schrauser uh, he, he pretty much wrote the book on selenium, and even to this day, he's been he passed quite some time ago, but even to this day, he did more research on selenium, amazing research on selenium, selenium methionine, uh, than I think anybody in history. And it's so critical, because if you see some of the science on it, uh, selenium having to do with cancer and fungus and things like that is so critical. And a lot can be said about selenium, uh, having white, uh, uh, wasting muscle disease, MS in other words, um, and, or excuse me, or um, M muscular dystrophy, or MS as well, um, and many other things, cystic fibrosis, selenium has gone a very long way, especially with Joe Wallach's work. Um, he actually sued the FDA, as you guys might recall, he sued the FDA probably, I think it's probably about 25 years ago now, to be able to say uh, that selenium methionine or selenium uh, killed many cancers, was effective against many cancers, and he did that and he won. So it's one of those things that a person needs to keep in mind. So if you're going to do preventative medicine, which everybody should, I mean, you talk about breast tissue and the prostate as well. Again, there's a lot of things like DHEA and zinc and magnesium and many other things in a proper diet and getting rid of the junk, acid stuff, hydrogenated fats, all that garbage, smoking, drinking, that kind of thing. As we know, <clears throat> I'll put this little addition here that I didn't think about it before is, when you, when you talk about breast cancer, you can almost guarantee that there is a fungus that goes along with it. That's why when you see many of the studies in the Fungal Bionics book, a uh, massive book by um, mycologist from the WHO, A.V. Costantini, you'll see that uh, alcohol and breast cancer almost go hand in hand. So it's one of those things that a person has got to be very aware of. And of course, this, the uh, deficiencies of iodine vitamin D, and selenium. So that's the key here. That's what I'm going to try to talk about, you know, as far as uh, get that message, quick message out there today, is make sure, you know, especially if you're in my age group, you know, one in, one in two of you guys are going to probably get cancer in the next 10 years if you don't already have it, which is which is horrifying, but it doesn't have to be. You can do a lot of things to, to eliminate that. Don't take my word for it, obviously. Do the research. I've done the research. I'm, I'm confident in what I say for myself and my family. Uh, but... Uh, there's a lot of things that can be done again, like I said, but D3, selenium, methionine, iodine, if you just took those three uh, substances, substances that are extremely safe, you'll see that breast cancer would virtually be wiped out forever. Uh, but don't, again, don't take my word for it, just do your own research. I've done it, PubMed and everything else, and, and I'm, I'm confident in what I say there, for, again, for me and my family. So I'll take precautions for my girls and my family and anybody else that'll listen. Uh, as far as a minimum dose, yes, there are foods that you can get it, like Brazil nuts and other things like that, uh, which are rich in selenium. Uh, but Gerhard Schrauser, like I said, he's the one that wrote the book, and I think he almost was was selected for a Nobel Prize uh, for that work. But he always suggested using selenium methionine. That's all I've used for years. It's very easy. It's very inexpensive. It's very easy to take. Uh, I take. Uh, you can buy them in you know different size caplets, but uh, capsules. I buy in 200 uh, microgram capsules and, and they're dirt cheap. You can get a couple months supply for 10 bucks, you know. Uh, but minimum minimum dose should be 200 for, for the women, especially for adult women and men. 200 micrograms and uh, up to a maximum dose uh, with uh, cardiomyopathy. We know that cardiomyopathy and selenium deficiency go hand in hand as well. Lots of studies from China to, to all over that uh, Schrauser suggested anywhere from 600 to 800 micrograms. So I take approximately 600 uh, micrograms a day. So that's going to be it. Um, it's a real quick one, but just a reminder for you folks that are worried about uh, breast cancer. And, and uh, I'll do a video. I had a video before that I did where I actually took the povidone iodine and did it on my own chest, and where you take the povidone iodine stick and use the iodine where it goes right towards the nipple and breast tissue. That, if somebody had uh, fibrocystic breast or nodules or anything like that, I would absolutely, me personally, I mean, it, you know, suggest from a wife and daughters and others, why would you not? And again, one in a hundred men are getting breast cancer now. I would absolutely put it towards the nipple. That's where all the tissue is. That soaks right in. If you even put DMSO on top of that, better yet, because that would really soak that right into the tissue. So that's it for now. All right, thanks, guys. See ya.